Hi everyone and thanks for joining me today. I'm a couple of minutes early. I've just looked at the time and I am early for change. Makes a change, doesn't it? I'm normally late. <laughs> we are going to make a super cute card. Obviously, we've got Valentine's coming up. Um, so these are great for your loved ones, for your friends, um, whoever you want to show that you love them. So I thought I would do a cute um, Valentine's card. So let's see. Hi, Denise, honey. How are you? Right, okay. Have you got snow where you are? Because we have. But I don't think it's going to last because um, it's already started thawing out already. Right, here we go. Right, hi, Karen. Hi, Denise. Hi, Debbie. Look, I got the kangaroos out and made this gorgeous little card. And he's got a lovely little message in there that says, love you much. Just super, super cute. Look how cute that is. I had some high lean, honey had some wonderful dsp which i've not used and unfortunately you can't get it anymore but i'm sure you've all got some you know lovely dsp laying around that you could use but this is the one that i'm using because it's um a dsp i know linny's got this one and i think Ginny has as well maybe um there's a couple of you i know brought this but this is the dsp that i'm using but you can use any really and we're going to be using kangaroo and company the dies and the um, stamp set, just gorgeous, gorgeous. And as you know, the kangaroo, you can fit the little messages in. So you've got hopping by just to say hi. Thanks a bunch. Hello. Just a note. Happy for you. It's your day. Love you much. Just for you. And hello, baby. Hi, Kirsty. And you've got lovely. You can put hearts, flowers, presents or a little letter. Or you can do the little kangaroo. So there's lots of little um, messages that you can pop in there. And inside I've just done the little kangaroo with little love hearts. So just super lovely. Right, okay, let's move this out the way and tell you what we're going to do. Um, I've also used the stitched um, rectangles. Um, so that's the one we've used on there. So we've also used the rectangles on there. Right, okay, let me show you what you're going to need. So I'm using Flirty Flamingo. Oh, I thought I'd muted my phone. Why have I not muted my phone? Thank you for sharing. Um, oh, my phone's going to ding now. Let me just take this off and mute you a minute. Just mute that horrible sound. I thought I'd done it. Thanks for sharing, Karen. I will put your name in my appreciation jar for the end of the month. Thank you, Denise. Anyone who shares, if you want to share this video, just put shared in the comments and I will add you into my appreciation jar. It's getting full up now. Hi, Simra, darling. Right, so flirty flamingo card base, eight and a quarter by five and a half, scored at four and one eighths. Um, we have a piece of um poppy no real red this one is real red and this is four by five and three eighths hi Ginny uh a piece of basic white which is four by five and three eighths we have um die cut the layering rectangles and I'm not sure which size it is but it's just bigger than the kangaroos so it's the one that's a bit bigger than the kangaroo and your piece of DSP is three by five and a quarter. No, it isn't. It's three by five and... I think it's five and three eighths. Sorry, five and three eighths by three, because that just goes on the air. Five and three eighths, that way, by three is the DSP. Oh, I have to make sure I've got that right. Right, okay, and what I have done, you don't have to do this. Um, You could just stamp a message here but if you have the heart punch i used um the dsp and it has i've used the scalloped um punch pack and i've just punched these out but you can um there is a stamp set that coordinates with these punches if you wanted to get the 
heart punch pack there is a stamp set that goes with it instead but i'm just using what i've got so you know you could just put a message in place here um or like a little banner with a message on i've just used these hearts because it would be rude not to use the paper right okay you're going to need some whisper white as well so let me just find a bit big enough in my scrap whisper white drawer so we'll look here i've got to have a bit here somewhere right we could just maybe use these two bits maybe right let's just pull out a couple of bits of scrap whisper white oops a blazing okay right okay so for stamping you're going to need the big kangaroo um the little kangaroo the kangaroo that fits on the um little tab and we've got the little love heart as well so i'm using my basic black and what we're going to do is we're just going to sorry ink up this kangaroo the big one let's hope these bits of scrap whisper white are big enough oh it's going to just fit on there i think did i just get his ear in shot oh he'll have to do i think right okay let's do the little kangaroo like that and we need a love heart as oh god we messed that one up okay right and then we'll do the inside in a minute i think no we won't we'll do it now we'll do it now so this is the inside piece we're just going to do the little kangaroo like so like that and then i'm just going to oh gosh throwing it on the floor oh gosh right i'm just going to clean my stamp and we're going to just stamp that in poppy parade oh my gosh no real red not poppy parade not real red or poppy parade it doesn't really matter it's just red red and we're just going to i'm just going to do like three hearts around him like so here we go and we're going to do the message on let's do a red one this time and the message is actually from, I think it's Oval, it's the one that you get as a host um, that I showed the other day called Punch Party. Oops. It's um, this one that says, you make my heart happy. This is a, a host um, rewards stamp set, but you can put any sentiment in there that you want. I'm just going to do this. Doesn't quite fit, but it will do. Hi, Karen, honey. Oops. And that just says, you make my heart happy. Can't really see it. It's a bit, only just fits in there. So find a sentiment that will fit in your heart. Um, if I'd have actually used, actually, let me just grab it so you can see. Right, you know what? Let's use the proper stamp set that goes with it. So this is the stamp set that goes with the the heart punch pack. So these are the two heart punches, and this is the actual stamp set. It's in the annual catalog. So instead of me trying to fit a stamp in there, let me find the real one, the proper one. So we've got love you lots. Oh, that's so cute. Love you lots. From my heart to yours. So lucky to have a friend like you. Oh, I think I'm going to use that one. 
So let's use that. So happy to have a friend like you. How cute is that? So this is in the annual catalogue and um, it comes with the, you can do a bundle with the heart punch pack. I believe it comes as a bundle anyway. Right, let's do the proper one that we're supposed to do. Right, and then it will fit. And what a lovely sentiment. So lucky to have a friend like you. And this should fit right in the middle. Oh, look. There it is. Why did I not get that out in the beginner? There you go. Oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So lucky to have a friend like you. Now, obviously, if you don't have this designer series paper, what you could do is this. Let me show you. So, I need some red. I need some red card. Here we go. So, if you don't have um, this designer series paper, what you could do is you could, um, you know, stamp this heart here. Um, and then put the message in. So I'm just going to show you because this is a lovely um, stamp set. It is absolutely gorgeous. So if you've got a stamp that's got a hole in the middle, what I do is just lay, it, flop it on the table, and then use your block to pick it up, and then it will keep its shape. Okay. So let's do this. So let's. Pretend we don't have the designer series paper, but we've got the heart. Hi, Tracy. So we're going to put that there, like that. There you go. And then we're going to put the message in the middle. And go in the middle like that. So lucky to have a friend like you gorgeous and then what we will do is use our heart punch pack cut out this heart like that and then what we'll do is we'll just cut one of these out oops not that one in the scallop one like so and then we can put those two together like that. So we're going to use, oh, isn't that just beautiful? I love it. Right, I'm going to use that one instead of those. Because we've not all got the designer series paper, do we? Right, okay, I lost my track a little bit now. So we need to colour in these um, kangaroos. And they're very easy. So we've just got crumb cake, light and dark. And I'm using the Poppy Parade. Um... Many Marvellous Markers. So that's it. That's all I'm using. So all I'm going to do is do... Hi, Indy, honey. This is my other job, Indy. I um, do craft videos. <laughs> Indy is um, my lovely upline with Unique. So I don't know if Indy knows what I actually do. So, yes, we make lovely cards like this, Indy. This is my other job. <laughs> right, okay, let's colour this in. Let's just so we're just using the crumb cake um light. And we're just literally gonna colour him in like so. Do these little hearts. Now you can leave them not coloured in if you want. I love it. Girls are amazed already. No end to your talents. Oh, thank you, Indy. Indy is lovely. She really, really is. I saw that you've been out in the snow this morning. Rather you than me. I do not want to go out in the snow. Right, this is um, crumb cake dark. And what we're going to do is just come in here and just do a little bit of shading. Nothing too major. Just do a little bit on his paws. There you go. So that's the inside done. And then we're just going to do the same with these. So we're going to just colour him in. My other job is baking cakes and 
Bookstagram. What's Bookstagram? Never even heard of that. What is Bookstagram, Simra? Never heard of it. Right, don't worry about the bottom bit because the little dies do actually cut him out. Instagram for books does kind of speak for itself, but um, I've never heard of it. No, I've never heard of it. I'm going to have to look it up now. So do they do like book reviews and things? Right. Baking. My daughter loves to bake. Oh, my God. And so does Tracy. Tracy Carpenter, you naughty girl. She's always putting up brownies and I don't like to be out out in it but it's pretty to look at all oh, the snow yes it looks lovely but do not want to be out in it yes the naughty tracy carpenter oh my gosh she's always making yummy cakes it's book reviews new books etc check me out oh i will have a look after not that i get much time to read actually <clears throat> the last book that i read um was a it's like a self-development book and it was um, a lady puts, I forgot what the book's called, how rude of me, I know. Um, I forgot what it was called now, but she puts you into categories. So there was the spendthrift, the dreamer and what was the other one? I can't remember now. So a spendthrift is someone who is always looking at other people's videos, let's just say, for example, and watching and um, you know, spending lots of time watching other people, but they, they want to do these things, but they spend so much time watching the videos that they don't actually do it themselves. So I think we can all be guilty of that. A dreamer is someone who um, obviously dreams a lot. Oh, I've done the wrong colour there. Oh, I've done him dark, haven't I? There's me chatting away and I've done him in the wrong colour. Look. Oh, my goodness me. Right. I have done him in the wrong colour, so let's try and create a bit of shading. So I actually did him in the dark colour because I was yakking, so what we're going to do, let's just, I'm using soft suede here, don't do what I do, remember that's my motto, I make mistakes so you don't have to, <laughs> there you go, right, so it doesn't matter, we've corrected it, doesn't matter, we've just got a dark kangaroo. I did think he looked a bit dark on this one. Never mind. Never mind. Hi, Sue, honey. Right. I'm a twit. I'm a twit. I'm a twit. So, yes, there was a, a spendthrift dreamer. And I think the other one was a workaholic. Someone who does, works, works, works all the time. And doesn't actually have time to, to um, do anything for themselves. Right. Okay. So, we need to now... Die cut these out. Are you still on it, Sue? Yes, Sue. You've got oh, the daisy. I've dropped it on the floor again. Yes, Sue. Um, we are still live, honey. You've caught us for a change. Right, okay. I'm gonna bring in the little um, lovely little cut and emboss machine. Right, we are going to where right are my put these on here, we're going to put him on there, where's the dies, put him on here, line it up, put a little bit of tape down, just hold him in place and we are going to put a little heart on like so you also need the little die that looks like that because that's the bit that it fits onto the little um the little kangaroo fits on that so it can slot into the pocket and if you've missed a bit on the bottom there you can always color that in so don't worry right and our last bit of washi tape hi julie honey oh well uh, the tape's got stuck 
Right, I'm just going to pop that on there. That should be fine. And we're just going to run all these through. Like that. Right, okay, let's keep all these dies together so don't lose them. Like that. And the bin. So we've got the lovely kangaroo, we've got the lovely little baby, we've got the bit that that fits onto, and that is that. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get my marker and just come in and colour this bit here. There we go, that's fine. Shared, thank you honey, I will put you in my appreciation jar. Right, all I'm going to do is put a little bit of glue on here. Oh, come on. A little bit of glue on there. Let this dry for a minute and then we'll come back and we'll stamp that with the little message. So that slots in the little pocket. There's a little pocket just there um, that this will fit into like that. See, how cute is that? That's just super cute. So we're going to let him dry a minute while we put the card together. Right. Okie dokie. Here we go. Let's get our card base. Stick this in. Where's my tape gone? Pop that in there. That's it. So pop that in like that. Now the front piece, what we're going to do is we are going to put this on, we need to stick the DSP on, oopsie daisy, set, and make sure if it's directional that you've got your hearts the way that you want them, put that on there. And now I have my, wherever do I put it? And this is the Snail Mail Twine Combo Pack. And I'm using this lovely, um, I think it's Blushing Bride, I believe. Um, it's a lovely pink anyway. And what I'm going to do is take a double. We're going to double this. So let's just cut this and double it. So what I'm going to do is just get it, double it, and then cut this end. Hi, Deborah. Right, and then we're going to wrap this around the card and attempt to do a bow. I think I've fluffed it up already. I don't think I've cut it big enough. Oh, I didn't cut it long enough. Chanel. Do it again. Now it's probably going to be too long. Right, I didn't do it long enough. So make sure you have a long enough piece. That won't get wasted anyway. I can make some little bows out of it. Right. Why is my string giving me a hard time? Right. <coughs> Right, we're going to tie this around this here. Tie it into a knot. Like so. Straighten it up. Like that. Move it around a little bit. There you go, to there, and then we can tie this in a bow. Like that, there you go. There's your bow done. Just going to cut that and cut that. All right, that's good, 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 good. I'm going to put this bit of combo um, thread back in there. So we don't lose it. That's it. Done. Okie dokie. Now we can stick this onto our card. 
make sure it's straight and then glue this down so who's going to be making some of these cards who is going to make some of these gorgeous kangaroo cards who's got this set who wants this set right i'm just going to put that on there don't forget you do have a little bit of wiggle room with that stick that down and then we're going to take the rectangle we're going to put some me Cameron wants it Lynn wants it <laughs> right now what I'm going to do just going to put some up here but I leave a gap where the ribbon is so the ribbon's going to go in this gap here I don't have that set yet. I can't. I want this set, but it's on back order. No. Mind you, sometimes they do get the back order items quite quick. Quicker than you think. Right. Okay. So we're just going to put the bow that side out of the way. Scrappy bow. Stop it. There you go. Like that. There you go done right okay now the heart we need to stick the heart on me when i get the set sue oh yes sue's ordered this she's waiting on it it is adorable now i oh isn't that gorgeous i actually prefer that one to that one actually so that's the one that we made and did ourselves yay i love it now, I try not to put a dimensional on there, so we're just going to put one there and maybe one around here. And we're going to just pop that. I think because it was so popular, everyone wants it. Right, okay, so our kangaroo is going to go on there. We need to stamp our little bit on there, so we're just going to... now. Because you've got the pocket, you need to be careful where you put the dimensionals because you don't want to put them in this area here because then that will get caught. So put your kangaroo in, see where that is before you put your dimensionals on. Just a little tip. And how do I know? Because I did it. I put it on and then I couldn't get me, me um, message in because, yeah, I know, silly me. So... We're going to pop him down like that. Yay, how beautiful. Take that out. Do our little stamped message on there, which I forgot to do earlier. We're just going to... This says, love you much. I haven't ordered that this to set up a stamp cut this month because of the delivery issues. Figured if I ordered now, it's unlikely to arrive in time. Not sure. Yes, I was going to put on the group, honey, that will leave Stamp Club this month. And I was going to message you because I think it was only you. And I think um, uh, there was another lady as well. So I'll message her as well because... Not many of you wanted to do the card kit anyway, so I'm glad you haven't ordered it already. And I don't think the other lady has ordered it either. Um, she hasn't. So um, if we leave Stamp Club this month because of the delivery issues and we'll get back on track once they catch up. So thanks for that, darling. And then the little heart, we're just going to put a little... Dim um, no, I didn't. I was going to put a dimensional on, but I decided to glue it on instead. Um, I think it was Katie Emma. Is it Katie Emma? There you go. So I'm just going to pop that there. A little message. Look, love you much. Just gorgeous. We're going to pop that in there. Look at him. Isn't it gorgeous? And that's it. There's your card done. I actually prefer this one to that one. Much prefer it. And I love the message. So lucky to have a friend like you. Um... And then obviously, plus deliveries are an issue at the moment, are they? Yes, absolutely. Um, so I'm actually, I was thinking about it yesterday. I was thinking I'll probably put a hold on the stamp club 
until we play catch up with everything. So thank you, darling. I'm glad you hadn't ordered it, actually, and I'll message KTM. I know she hasn't. Or, um, oh, love it. Gorgeous. So I've got quite a few Valentine's cards made now. Let me show you the ones we did yesterday. We did You've Got Mail and Look with a little message, just a note. So we did that one yesterday. And then we did this one yesterday with the little, this is from the Kangaroo and Company. Yes, yeah, still wait, I'm impatient and want my bits now. Me too. I've ordered a few things and I can't wait for them to arrive. And then I've also got, if we're going to pull out some Valentine's cards, I've also got these. Love you always with my whole heart. <sighs> delicious, delicious. This one's my fave. Look at this. Isn't that just a forever and always? Isn't that beautiful? With love. And I don't know if you can see the wink of Stella shimmering on that. Oh, it's like a choir of angels singing. So look, I have enough Valentine's cards now to send to the people that I love. So I wonder who's going to get them. Lots of you. Right. If I could send you all one, I would. You know I would. So I hope you've enjoyed today's Kangaroo and Company. I do like the one we've just made, actually. Where is it? That one. I like that one better. Um, oh, these are just addictive, addictive, addictive. Love them, love them, love them. Let me just actually, it doesn't matter that I've done it in two different colours either. We've got a dark kangaroo and a light kangaroo. That kind of gives you a different look anyway. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I won't be back tomorrow because I've got the grandkids. Um, but I will be back on Tuesday. Um, so take care. Have a lovely weekend. Keep warm. And I will see you all very, 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 very soon. So bye for now. Bye.